I'm Nick Gallo, a USA Hockey Level 4 coach, a former WHL scout, and lifelong hockey guy. It's been a dream getting to work in the hockey world, but I also like to have a little fun. Okay, a lot of fun. Welcome to Holding Court. I'm sorry, Kings fans. I'm sorry, Oilers fans, but I don't hate Matthew Kachuk. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. I know as a Kings fan, I'm supposed to hate Matthew Kachuk. Well, I'm having a hard time. It saddens me that now the NHL markets these rivalry games and rivalry matchups and they couldn't be any more polite. They couldn't be anything further from an actual rivalry. When I think of rivalry, I think of Colorado and Detroit, who uh, I think most of those rosters could be in jail for some of those matchups. Nowadays, the, the modern NHL's rivalry is a fucking joke. The game isn't the same. You know? Say what you want, say it's better, say it's safer. The game isn't the same, though. I don't know if there's a guy who's done more for actual rivalry in the NHL than Matthew Kachuk. You look earlier in the season, or even back to last season. Kachuk and Drew Doughty, the Kings you know, franchise defenseman, had a real beef, a real legitimate beef. They're taking runs at each other. They're both really good, top-notch players. So skill-wise, they're, they're, they're duking it out. Physically, literally, they're duking it out. In the media, they're talking shit. I think we both know the better players. It's so. awesome. It is great entertainment for hockey fans. So Kachuk and Dowdy had this hatred for each other, and it was refreshing. Last year, my girlfriend was asking me, please take me to a hockey game. You know, she had never been to a hockey game. She really didn't know shit about hockey. She wanted to go to a Kings game. And I looked at her, and I said, no. I couldn't get excited about bringing in, you know, someone who's a new fan and introducing them to the hockey the Kings were playing last year. I've sat through a lot of bad Kings seasons. The thing I'm not okay with is being bad and being boring. Once the Drew Doughty and Matthew Kachuk beef started heating up, I said, well, that's an actual game that might be interesting now. I think this would be a great first hockey game. This was the matchup after the one where Dowdy and Kachuk are going head-to-head -head all night. Kachuk scored the game-tying goal with seconds left, I believe. And then Dowdy scores the game-winner in overtime. So we bought tickets at the beginning of this season to Dowdy and Kachuk at Staples Center. And it was a fucking amazing game. There was fighting, there was hitting, there was physicality. It was like an actual rivalry. There was scoring. Uh, Dowdy and Kachuk, you know, went back and forth. It was a perfect game to introduce it to a new fan. How about this Battle of Alberta? When in the longest time has the Battle of Alberta actually felt like the Battle of Alberta? So Matthew Kachuk in the matchup against the Flames' biggest rival, the Edmonton Oilers, he takes not one, but two hard-ass runs at the Edmonton Oilers' tough-as-nails, Zach Cassian. Puts him on his ass both times. Cassian wanted to murder Kachuk. It drummed up this huge rivalry. Once again, it's out in the media. These guys are talking shit. They play again the other night, and we actually had a goalie fight. A fucking goalie fight in the modern NHL. A lot of people didn't think Matthew Kachuk was going to drop the gloves with Zach Cassian. Cassian's out of his weight class. Cassian's a lot tougher. Yeah, that's probably true, but Kachuk dropped the gloves with Cassian, so that earned him a ton of respect. These are just instances of two rivalries that Matthew Kachuk single-handedly created. That's basically why you're not going to hear me too much coming for Matthew Kachuk. I appreciate what he brings to the modern NHL because it is so lacking. If you hadn't checked it out yet, my most recent A Star is Born was on the great one himself. These are the type of videos I make for newer fans or for sports fans in general who are a little bit less familiar with hockey. I just sort of highlight our game's legends on the day of their birth. Go check it out. Thanks guys. I'll see you on the next video.